Good morning, everybody. I am very excited. This is my um, first order from the new Holiday Expressions catalog. This catalog will be going live for all you guys um, September 1st, 2018. So, um, and it will be going to December. So I am very excited. This one is a bit thicker than our average catalog. So um, I will have a catalog flip through. Kind of explains a little bit about the new catalog and um, I will leave that link in the description box below. But um, so I know this is a box opening video. Um, so what's in my box? I did let my daughter open it. She wanted to open it and I told her if she's going to open it she's got to go through and make sure that all the contents are there so she's got to use the packaging list to check it off and she did and I told her make sure I don't see it so she was on the other side of the couch and I was in over by the dining table so I didn't see anything so <laughs> this is definitely um I can't even remember what I actually put in here what I ordered so um it's going to be exciting for me and hopefully for you guys so I'm going to go ahead and get started um I will also uh let's see yeah, I'll leave the link below for, um, <laughs> should have some artwork right there. She says it's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. There is a whole lot of goodies in here. Okay. I'm excited. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is, there's so much sparkle! <laughs> Um, I'm going to set it aside and go ahead and pull them in because the box is deeper than my usual box. So I think, I think, I think, um, too much stuff on my desk. Um, I think it'd be easier. Well, maybe. Sorry about this. I didn't expect the box to open so big. Okay. Is that all right? There we go. Okay. So, um, one of the things that's new in this catalog is the texture paste. And these are the, um, there's a, these are from Ranger and, um, there's three different ones. They've got the opaque matte, transparent matte, and the texture paste. I have not been able to use the tex texture paste before. In fact, I haven't used any of these before, but um, I would assume that these are just a little bit thicker than um, like if you were to add some baby powder to Mod Podge or something like that. I think that's kind of how that would work, um, which I have used that before. So I'm assuming it's similar. So I'm excited to see this. Um, and work with those. Um, very excited to be able to do that. I have palette knives. They do offer palette knives, but I already have some, so I didn't need to get any. Uh, the color of the year is Sugar Plum. It is really pretty. Um, let me see if I can find the, okay, so this is Bashful. This is the current, as far as when I'm doing this video in August, um, this is the current color of the year, and this one is Sugar Plum. It's a bit different. It's got more of a purple to it. It's a purpley pink. It's really pretty. Um, and I got the ink pad to go with it, so this will last me forever. I've had um, these ink pads, not this particular one, but other ink pads like this for over a year now and they're still nice and juicy and wet so I am very excited about this this means it'll last for years and um, let's see I have sugar plum glitter gems oh, they are so sparkly they're so sparkly and then the same sugar plum color as the inks and I also got, I think you can see back here, the card stock um, that goes with it. And then I got these. Um, as a consultant, I get to order um, 
a 25% discount off of my new um, ink colors. So I did that and I will show you guys the ink colors. So we've got Ballerina, which I would assume is very close to Bashful, but I think Bashful has more of a, um, you can see the difference in color there. This one's on more of a warm tone and this is more of a cool tone pink. So I, I have the reinker for Bashful too, so that'll last me a while as well. Even if it's out of color or out of like not the color of the year anymore, I still like it. So um, we've got ba Ballerina, we've got Peach, we've got Mint, Sage, and Carolina. And look at these colors. Aren't they pretty? And then, say you added the sugar plum on top of that. Oh, 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 oh. I love that. Love that color palette. And then um, we have five more colors. We've got, so this is the next set. And no, the lilac doesn't really coordinate with those ones, but those ones go great together. So we've got nectarine, which is an orange, candy apple, bluebird, clover, and lilac. And the difference between lilac and sugar plum, there is definitely a difference there too as well. So, um, but the lilac would definitely go well in that, in that collection too. So I am very excited to add these to my stamp pad collection. I am actually starting to get, a, I think I now have all but one of the colors and it's taken me like five, 10, okay, not 10, maybe five or six years to actually get that um, many. So I've been going extra slow. So this is the Bunches of Love Sentiment stamp set, or Bunches of Love uh, stamp set. It's a D-size stamp set, and I just love this because I can watercolor it or I can um, put the inks on here and, it'll, and stamp it on there and it'll look watercolored. I'm gonna show it for you guys. I love that stamp. It's so pretty. I, I love that I can scrapbook with it. I can also make cards with it. I can do all kinds of things with it. And then these block letters or block words, thinking of you, bunches, love, friend, just because, hello. Um, you can definitely stamp those and cut them out and use them on layouts or cards. Pretty much anything you want to make. So I think that that stamp set will be really fun. Let's see, we have the, um, did I get that paper pack? I did, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull um, this one, and um, I'm gonna pull these out. So I got me the gold sequins, and there's all their sequins in different colors of gold, and there's stars, little stars in them as well. There's also um, clear sequins and tiny sequins as well. So I don't know if I can pull the stars out, but they are little tiny shiny stars. They're cute. So those will be exciting, and um, I mean these sequins, I don't think I've ever seen sequins quite that small, like they are itty, oh, you can't even see them, can you, itty bitty sequins in there, as well as the large stuff, which is, and you can pick and choose the colors of, the colors of gold that you wanted to use too. Look at the little tiny gold sequins, they're like tiny, tiny. They're so cute. Okay, so that is the gold uh, gold loose sequins pack. And then, um, let's see, I got the paper pack, the sugar plum uh, cardstock pack, and there is the sugar plum side, and then there is a lighter version on the back. So let me see if I can pull one of these a couple of these out to show you the difference between the lighter and the 
marker. So this is the actual sugar plum color. And then this is the back side. So you have two colors on one sheet. So um, in our total color, color palette, I believe there's 40 or 50 colors. I'll have to look that up because um, we took some out and then we added more. So I'll, I'll double check that. Um, and um, but if you have two a lighter version on the back side of every cardstock piece, you've got 100 colors if you've got 50 colors in the er, in the palette. So um, that is exciting to me because that gives you a lot of range for creating. You can always find the right color, which I love. <laughs> love, 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 love. And yes, I love a lot of things. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Wonders of the Wonder of the Season stamp set. And um, this, I don't know what it is about this stamp set. I'm not, I love the colors and the sparkle and the themes of Christmas. Um, I love the meaning of Christmas. I just don't do a whole lot of Christmas. So, um, but this stamp set, I, I love that you can use it for fall. You can use it for like outdoors stuff. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. So, um, I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm going to pull this out so it's not in its sheet. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, the sentiment says, may the joy and wonder of, of the season be yours. And then we have the different stamps. There's uh, several, um, all of these are singles other than the like the berries here. And, um, but these ones, all these three that have the blue ring on them ha come with coordinating die cuts. So um, you, I can stamp them and die cut them or die cut them and stamp them either way. So um, I'm very excited about this one. Um, and it goes perfectly with the Tis the Season paper pack, which, like I said, I love the, the season and the colors and themes, and it just makes me happy. So I got some of those. Um, this is the compliments that go with, this pa with the Tis the Season paper pack. And let's see. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm very excited. I mean, yes, I've seen them in the book, but there's, it's just not the same. Like, you don't get the, the shine of the gold. <laughs> shiny. Who's shiny? So these are um, stickers. These are all stickers, and they're nice, thick stickers, so they're pretty sturdy. And then we've got more. Oh, I love these colors, this color palette. Ah... Uh, they really should do a paper pack that includes that right there, right there. In fact, all three of those would be great. I love that. So let's see. We've got snowflakes and um, bows, bows. I don't know what that is. There's magic and believing, and those are stickers as well. And then these are die cuts, and um, these are definitely all kinds of floral here. Not floral foil. A little too early for me. I'm not used to getting up this early. And then these um, are really hard to see. You can kind of see the word joy in here. Oh, these are stickers. Really? Okay, those are these ones are die cuts and these ones are stickers. Hey, look at that. Haha. -ha. Definitely. Okay. So these are the die cuts you get or stickers depending on which ones they actually are. Um, in the red glitter. So you get the word joy, and you get some different shape, uh, Christmas ornaments, and stars, and it's really pretty. So I totally forgot I had that on the back side. I love that because you can kind of see what you have to work with at a glance instead of having to dig through everything. I generally cut mine all up and put it in a, um, a small iris container, um, but it is nice to have the 
sheet there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I start the petite thing, I'm going to totally do the Tis the Season. Now, this, the Tis the Season set is going to be featured in, let's see, November, I believe. So, um, it's still available September um, 1st, so uh, if you want it, make sure you get it, uh, get your order in. So this um, is reminiscent of this here. I'm going to say it kind of reminds me of mistletoe, really, um, when you just put a little cluster together and whatnot. But that's the front, and then it's the back side. I'm thinking this is just too much over here. It's got the, sorry for the shaky. And then that's the edge there. Zip strip. Let's see if I can get this. And then we've got a candy cane, candy stripe. And on each of these pieces, it will tell you the co uh, coordinating colors. So this one is candy apple, charcoal, cranberry, fern, linen, New England ivy, sapphire, and white daisy. over and you've got a nice distressed it's a distressed black or charcoal not black and that's the edge of it isn't that pretty so in the paper pack you will get two of each sheet again that expands your um, See, it's two of each, and I think it's six six sheets. So you get twelve sheets altogether. Um, and then this one is snowflakes. And there's more snowflakes here, and it kind of ombres down to not really ombre, but it fades down into just uh, snow. And then we've got now. There's a buff, right? Buff bow. One or the other. Anyways, and then we've got a nice um, diagonal stripe there. And I would assume that's in the linen color. And then we have this one here, and it has lots and lots of different words on it. We've got trim the tree, Christmas, ribbons and bows, Wonderful celebration, happy holidays, Santa Claus, candy cane, um, presents, family traditions, happy holidays, peace, sugar cookies, mistletoe kisses, um, pine trees, cozy fire, trim the tree, um, eggnog, all kinds of Christmas words. And then I love this one. I'm not sure why, but I just like this one. Um, this is another one that you could definitely use as a uh, kind of a holiday neutral. So like if you were to go out camping, you could definitely use this. It does have the red dots in it, but I don't think you'd really much, you know, see that a whole lot. If there was red in the picture or anything like that, it would totally pick up on the, the picture instead of just holiday. Um, and we've got snowflakes here. And then we have snowflakes. I, I didn't even realize that those were snowflakes, but look at how pretty they are. It's I, I love this paper right here. I think it's... Oh. And then this is... I'm not sure what you would call it. I was going to say houndstooth, but it's not really houndstooth. Um, it's kind of like a plaid. Um, if you look closely, it's kind of like a houndstooth plaid com combination, but, um, and then we've got the, uh, zip strip, which is a red and white polka dot, and then we have the cut apart sheet, and the cut, cut apart sheet is for, like, Project Life, Picture My Life, uh, scrap, uh, pocket scrapbooking, and um, we've got portrait, and then on the opposite side of each of these, it's the opposite, so that'll be landscape, depending on which, you know, which one 
is which. So this would be, let's see. Okay, so let's do the one in the middle that has jingle all the way. So that right now for me, it's portrait. Now when I flip it over, we don't have that at all. We have something, a totally different um, layout. That is interesting. Wow, I didn't realize that. Some of them are different. Okay, so, well, let's try this one. Uh, oh, that one works too. Okay, so say Be Merry is, it's landscape this direction. When I flip it over, it's portrait. So it would go like that. Have it in, okay. You understand, I think, I think. If you don't, <laughs> don't worry. I, I'm, I'm getting myself confused too. So up here it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So that's another strip that you can use. And you can use these for scrapbooking. Um, and in pocket scrapbooking, you can use, I've used them on cards. You can cut them apart and use, like this one here has different pieces. You can use those different pieces. You can even cut those pieces and use them on different um, ones of these. Oh, that one's got two different, see that one? I don't know if you can see that pattern. It's a very delicate pattern. It's really pretty. And then on the back side, we've got the, the plaid. I love that plaid. I just love that plaid. Um, Wow. So yes, um, that is the Tis the Season paper pack. And next will be the Boutique paper pack. This one's going to be featured in September and I am very excited about it. Um, this is kind of a guide as to what's all in here. I'm very excited to look at these. I have They have yet to do kind of a washi drip idea so I'm excited so these are all stickers and they're all more of a like a faded vintagey feel which I like that it's something that's different now these ones are all these are all stickers these are all stickers and um, you can definitely use the in-betweens if I can get them as a sticker as well, which they are stickers, but you can definitely use those in your work. Um, I haven't yet, but I've never had one of these before. So, um, but yes, they took colors and patterns from the paper pack. Um, this little one here has words on it. We've got uh, never stop dreaming, choose joy, cultivate a heart of gratitude, together is my favorite place to be. Um, where, let's see, bloom where you're planted, spread the light, be kindness, all kinds of goodness there. This one is a more watercolored, which makes it very, very good for weddings and, uh, like church events and you could even do birthdays or, um, let me think, uh, bachelorette, um, parties, depending on how, how you, uh, what kind of pictures you take, but, um, there's tons of ideas. You could even do this for baby if you wanted to, for a very chic styled baby, baby album, um, or a greeting card of some sort. It's so many options that you can do. And these ones are cut apart. And then these ones also are cut apart. It's beautiful moments, love and sweet. And those are pretty good size. Now these sheets are, I think, just a touch over six by six or maybe even six by six. So like I said, these are good size as far as um, for layout. Uh, let's see, this is the paper pack. And again, this is called Boutique. I'm gonna move this, I think. Maybe, somewhere, somewhere maybe. And this is the uh, first page here. And then let's see, we've got flowers. And the back side, oh my goodness, okay. So I'm going to turn this up so that the zip strip is up so that it, the patterns are accurate. 
accurate. Okay, so this is the front and back side. So we've got the front side and the back side. And this has a very blue tone due to my light. However, it's very, let's see, this one's called Peach. So we've got baller, col featured colors are Ballerina, Charcoal, Glacier, Linen, Peach, Peacock, Saffron, Sugar Plum, and White Daisy. So um, this one definitely is the peach. It's so pretty. I love that one. Um, let's see. And then we've got these two here. We've got the front side. Isn't that pretty? And then this is the back side. It's got polka dots. And then um, the zip strip is, let's see if I can get that to show up. There we go, the pattern on there. It's really pretty. And then this one is a watercolor kind of stripe. It reminds me of wood, like uh, wood panels or wood flooring. Um, it's very, very pretty, and it's very, very light. I think they used either watercolor peach or uh, ballerina on that one. And then this is the back side of this one. Zip strip is very colorful. I knew that was going to happen. And then um, we've got, I'm not sure what those are, they're just little design on there. And it, it does kind of have a distressed like wa brushed look to it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but that's really pretty. And I think that's a charcoal color again. And then we have, this is the first side here. Let me see if I can get that close enough. Where you can see the little leaves and stuff and the branches. And then this is the back side. Again, this is uh, reminiscent of the um, sticker strip um, it's just backwards like the colors were flipped so um, it's got the same type of words on it it says bloom where you planted um, celebrate uh, never stop dreaming choose joy cultivate love and oh my goodness look at this look at the the zip strip is adorable. It's like a water watercolor flower with extra large leaves, but it's just, it's so cute. And that's in the peacock color, which is one of my favorites. If they ever change the peacock color, I will be sad. And this one is, you can't even see the real color on uh, video, but it is so pretty. This one's the glacier color and oh, it is so pretty. And it, you can kind of see how it looks like it's just been, it's the glacier color and then it's been dripped on and splattered on and painted and dry brushed and it's got the dry brush strokes across there and it's so pretty. It's very abstract. You could definitely use this for boy too, not just um, wedding or whatever. Um, girl, feminine. Um, in fact, there's uh, a couple of these sheets that you could definitely use for uh, masculine. Um, and this is the back side. It's got triangles on there and then you've got a zip strip or border piece that's saffron with polka dots. And then this is the uh, pocket scrapbooking PML um, pages and you get two of them but you can see here one's portrait one's landscape same with all of these let's see if there's any there's nothing different on these ones like the last one had some that were changed out the patterns on the back were changed out um, but this one they're all the same they're just portrait or landscape which I like so, um, and you can see the zip strip is from that paper pack there, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna do kind of a close up of these just so you can kind of get an idea of the style of them. Your, your kind heart makes mine happy. 
And so you, what I would do is, if I didn't use this as a PML or a pocket scrapbooking, you could totally put, cut this out with a heart or a die of die shape, an oval, anything, and then and then put it on a card if you wanted to. But they are so pretty. Choose joy. Collect moments, not things. And then you've got your peach and ballerina. Drilling spot and bloom where you are planted. That's beautiful. Okay, so um, from the looks of it, that is everything. Um, it feels like it went fast, but I'm pretty sure for you guys it probably went really slow. So um, I will get off of here and I hope to um, hear what you're excited about. Again, I will leave the link in the description box below to the um, new catalog and um, again there's I will be having more box opening videos because there's so much in this catalog that I like um, now I'm also um, things are changing up the kids are about ready to go back to school and that means a lot more work a lot more crafting a lot more uh, sharing and inspiring. So I am excited about that. So um, I hope you will join me for my next video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!